What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new track that just popped up this morning out of nowhere. Honestly did not expect this for quite some time and that's Mastodon's High Road. Now for those of you who have been following my channel for a long time you know that I used to be a huge Mastodon fan. The key word right there being used to be. When The Hunter was released I, it, it, like, within two days of this album coming out and listening to it, I listened to it at least four or five times. It was a bad album. It was a horrible album. I don't care what anybody says. This was not Mastodon. It was so bad. High Road. New era, new album. Okay, let's give it a shot. What do we got here? Well... With High Road, we got about a four minute long song, which is more of the same from The Hunter. Now before I go off and completely condemn this track into oblivion, saying that it's just The Hunter Part 2 and we're going to get another shit album, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Here's my reason why. When it comes to Mastodon's track record, I really like Remission. I think Remission's one of their best albums. Uh, I think that even though Leviathan's a good album, Remission is better. Then you get stuff like Blood Mountain, which is like, okay, it's a step in a different direction. Alright, fine, it still sounds really good. Then you get Crack the Sky, which is probably the furthest they've ever experimented with their music. And in my opinion, Crack the Sky is pr probably one of their better albums. It's, I mean, Remission is up here, Crack the Sky is like right underneath it. It's that close. I like how experimental Crack the Sky went off into, and at least compared to Remission, which is just this hard sounding, hammers pounding, like you, you can't really describe it other than the fact that it is fury in audio form. Crack the Sky had that ethereal feel to it, and I really like music like that. Then you get to The Hunter, which is like, okay, we experimented with Crack the Sky. Let's try to go into a more mainstream direction, so that way we can get a better general audience accept, you know, acceptance. And it failed. It failed miserably, in my opinion. Anyway, that's, for those of you who don't know, my track record with the Mastodon albums. High Road, and what I fear about High Road is that it's the same reaction I had with Black Tongue when it first got released for The Hunter. This track does not do anything for me. It's it's not something that I would put out under the Mastodon name. I think it tarnishes their somewhat short legacy by adding more of the Hunter elements, and even from a production standpoint, this is not a very well-produced song, but anything can happen between now and when the album drops. It's probably still being mixed as we speak. But High Road, it's just more of Mastodon trying to go, we want to break into the mainstream, we want wide audience acceptance. And I don't think that that's something that Mastodon needs. Mastodon is more of a cult-like band. It's, it's, you know, they used to be this kind, they had this image of them kind of being stoner, sludge, whatever you want to call it. They used to have that image, and now they're trying to be really, really big rock stars, and it's not working for them. It's somewhat of a similar progression that you saw with Metallica. Yeah, their first four albums, even though I would say their first three albums, were massive successes within the metal community, and are considered to be some of the best metal albums ever made. Then you get to the Black Album, which in this case would be The Hunter, and they're trying to go towards that mainstream sound, trying to break through so that way they're in everyone's homes and that they become a household name. And it does not work, and it's stabbing a knife into the back of people who have been fans with them since Remission or Leviathan, in my opinion. High Road, I don't even know what the new album's called. This is how much I haven't even been following them. They just randomly put out a track, and I'm like, okay, let's listen to it. It's more of The Hunter. That's exactly what this is, and that's exactly what I wish Mastodon would not do. This is a band that I want to see continue to make extreme music. It's just so disappointing that High Road is more of the same. I was really hoping for something that would at least be in a similar vein to Blood Mountain, or even Crack the Sky for that matter. 
And instead, all we're getting is more of the Hunter. Hunter, 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 you're going to hear that word a lot, especially if the new album is anything like the Hunter. And as I said, from a production standpoint, this song is not impressive at all. The drums are completely drowned out in favor of the guitars. And don't even get me started about the vocals. It's almost as if they're afraid to do a growl anymore. It has to be some kind of Pink Floyd-inspired vocal style. And it does not work for these guys at all. Case in point, go back and listen to Curl of the Burl. Or, uh... Creature Lives, that's that's the one that was the final nail in the coffin for me from The Hunter. So, High Road, I don't even know what grade to give it. Um, I mean, it's an average song. Um, a little bit of my prejudice is bleeding into it because it sounds like The Hunter, but from an honest perspective, just from a production standpoint and from a, a material standpoint, it's average. It's not necessarily like the most the worst thing that I've ever heard in my life. If you were a fan of The Hunter, you're probably going to like this track. And I'm probably going to give it a solid 5.5 out of 10. It's a slightly above average. But at the same time, come on guys, do we really need a Hunter Part 2? 5.5 out of 10 for me. Danny here for Metal Couch, signing out.